Today, we're going to be looking at how you can create this really cool cutout transition effect super easily in Premiere Pro. I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month, so make sure you guys hit subscribe and leave a like as well. Let's hop right into this. So inside of Premiere Pro here, we have the footage from the Yeet on the line music video. So what we're going to do to get started is we're going to take a screenshot of the first frame and we're going to bring that inside of Photoshop. Once we have that opened up inside of Photoshop here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to certain elements of the clip, like this car, for example, and we're going to cut it out from the background and then isolate it. And then we're going to have the car separated from the background. I'm just going to resize it and then export it as a PNG. And then we're going to move on to the next one, which is Yeet. I'm going to cut him out. And I just continue to do the exact same steps for a couple of items. So we ended up with Yeet, the car, and the people on the scooter cut out. And I exported them one by one and brought them inside of Premiere Pro. Once they were inside of Premiere Pro, I lined them up and assorted them throughout the footage to kind of have like this montage effect. As you guys can see, I played around with it for a little bit, the placements of the cars, Yeet again, and the people on the scooter. And once we were done, we had a cool transition like this. I then went ahead and applied some noise on it because I thought it blended it in a lot more and added to the effect, which looked great. Moving on to the second one here, I brought the second image of Yi in and did the exact same thing. I first started off by cutting out the headrest because I was going to use that. And I went on and cut out a part of Yi's head. And then I moved on to the car in the background there. And this time I went over to export, went down to layers to files. And doing this, you can export the frames all at once into different images. So then I brought all of these into Premiere Pro and did the exact same thing again, lined them up and created this kind of cool transition just by placing them in unique places, adding noise to them and just aligning them so they come in and come out over the transition. Once we were done, we had a super cool effect just like this. How did he do this? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like because I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month. See you guys in the next video. Peace.